Hello, homesteaders and health nuts. We are going to make dandelion root coffee today. I haven't been able to drink coffee for health reasons in about a year, and I'm really eager to find an alternative. So I read that dandelion roots, when you dry them and, and uh, dry them out in the oven, and then you boil them with some water, actually make a really good coffee alternative that they would use a lot during the Civil War. So here's my little pile of dandelion roots and I'm gonna get some more. We're gonna wash them off in the sink really, really good because they have a lot of dirt on them and uh, dry them out in the oven and then try boiling them with water to make coffee alternative. It's caffeine free, but it's got bene health benefits. Um, and I also just happen to have a whole bunch of dandelions growing in my garden beds that I need to clear out. So this is a perfect way to make sure that these little guys don't go to waste because they're so pretty and they're beneficial and they are edible and have health benefits. You can eat the flowers and leaves in other ways as well. And um, I hate to see when people spray them because you're killing food that's growing for free in your yard. Food with health benefits. Okay, stay tuned and uh, we're gonna go make some coffee. So now I've got them in the sink and there's a ton of dirt on these. So I'm gonna let them soak in some cold water in our strainer here for, you know, an hour or so. And then I'm gonna come back with a scrub brush and clean them up. Here's a couple that I cleaned up and dried yesterday. They um, shrunk quite a bit, but these were tiny to start with. I just wanted to see what they would look like. Okay, so now we're going to chop up our dandelion roots. At this point, I just washed them. I've got a big bucket full of them right here. I'm gonna spread these out in a pan and let them dry overnight. Tomorrow we're gonna toast them up. Okay, so I just went ahead and toasted down all my little uh, dandelion roots. I did them for about half an hour at 200 degrees because they were still moist and I wanted to get some of that moisture out of them. And then turned up the heat to 350 for another 20 or 30 minutes until they started to smell really good. Um, they kind of have like a marshmallowy, nutty smell to them. And I'm gonna go ahead and take, I think I'm gonna start with half of these. This is what one handful of dandelion roots um, boils down to once you cook it. So I'm gonna put that in there. You know what, I think I better just go for the whole thing. And I have some water boiling. And we're gonna try making dandelion coffee. So we'll see what happens here. This is my little French press, same thing you would use for coffee. I'm using super hot boiling water. And whenever you use a French press, just put a little bit of water in the bottom first because you wanna heat this glass up so that it doesn't break from the temperature chain. Put this here and let it steep for a while. Okay, moment of truth. I have my French press. There's what it looks like. I made it super strong, I think. We're gonna go ahead and pour it. I've got a nice clear glass here. And uh, we're gonna give it a taste test. It smells kind of like coffee. Um, I'm gonna twist this. It smells kind of like coffee, but it's not as acidic from what I'm smelling so far. So this is our Civil War era coffee substitute. Let's uh, see how it tastes. That tastes like coffee. I'm impressed. I like this. I'm definitely making it again. Okay, thank you for watching and comment below about what fun adventures you're having out in your garden. See you guys later.